Look into the spinning disk. Stare into the spiral. Don't blink and don't look away. And listen to the sound of my voice. Uh, not because I'm going to try and hypnotize you, but because what I've got to say is going to explain exactly what is happening to your brain right now. As you stare at the disc, it'll look as if that spinning circle, that spiral, is moving away from you, getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And that confuses your brain. Another part of your brain is, of course, trying to tell you, don't worry, just relax. It's all an illusion. So how does your brain deal with this? Well, it deals with it via a process known as neural adaptation. That is, it ignores the fact that it's getting smaller. It tells your brain that every time it sees something moving away or getting smaller, it should ignore it because it is, after all, just a video on a screen. However, in a second, I'm going to ask you to stop and look at the back of your hand. Ready? Three, two, one. If you didn't blink through that whole process, the back of your hand should have twisted and contorted and grown a couple of sizes bigger before settling back to its normal state. And that's because of something called an emotion after effect. What that means is after the neural adaptation, after your brain has gotten used to the idea that things getting smaller are in fact staying still, the idea of looking at something still makes your brain think that it's getting bigger. It's the same reason why you can't feel your backside right now. Your brain has just gotten used to the feeling of it. And as soon as someone mentions it, suddenly you become aware again. This idea of neural adaptation has all sorts of practical implications beyond simply fooling you with a video. It shows us how we get used to certain drugs. It shows us how we can increase our strength in weight training, how we can deal with incredible pain, why magicians are able to fool us, and why we ignore so much of what goes on in the world around us. So, look deep into the spinning disc, ignore the world around you, and think about the answer to the question, what would happen if the disc was spinning the other way? Leave your answer and your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.